All right, how's everybody doing today? My name is Frank Bunn, and we're gonna talk about order flow structure. And one of the, the best lessons I think I learned from the trading floor was how to identify these very specific order flow structures so that you can exploit them consistently and for, for consistent uh, profit. And you can also uh, sample better and, and make it easier to test uh, strategies around that. So one of the things you got to do is you got to you got to understand exactly what we're looking at and and the market mechanics underneath this so that we can exploit it first okay so um as you may or may not be aware but markets move in two dominant phases so we have uh we have expansion and we have contraction all right so here is uh here's expansion where prices are moving out of a contracted phase this is expansion. We have price moving down into uh, a, con a congestion area, and this is what's called contraction. So the thing that I learned was that ideally you want to find low risk entry points in areas of contraction with the expectation that expansion will, um, will continue. But what you have to master first, though, is this idea of, we're going to call it price acceptance. Okay. and price rejection, all right? Price acceptance and rejection. Two very important concepts. So this will all come together in just a minute when we, uh, when we clarify. But price acceptance, we're talking about an area where, where order flow is trapped and basically the market has now identified a, a, what's probably an obvious support or resistance level and price is contained in there so that buyers and sellers are at equilibrium. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say that this looks something like um, we're gonna say this looks something like this, like a just a general um, consolidation pattern. So with price trapped between these two levels, we have what's called price acceptance. Okay. Now when we do the same thing, and we have this area of price acceptance here, and we break out of that strongly one way or another, we call this price rejection. Those two, those two concepts are, are very important. So what we're going to look at is one, there's a, numerous ways to take advantage of this, but there's one really easy way that I'm going to show you today. So, so again, we go back to these market, um, we go back to the market mechanics, okay? So again, these two dominant phases. So we have expansion phases, and then contraction, and then expansion and then contraction. So obviously this is down. The same thing happens moving up. We expand, contract, expand, contract, expand. All right. So what happens is we're going to look at how this, this price acceptance and rejection come into play here. So once we break below a certain level, okay, we identify this key level. All right. So price will move below that. And we get price acceptance at this lower level. Now, what happens here is a concept called invested order flow. So a bunch of sellers sold, maybe sold short. Um, doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. We just need price to break below that level. What will happen is price will then immediately will be an institutional reversal. Price will immediately reverse. And this will result in this area of what's called trapped order flow. Okay. The significance of trapped order flow is that we have this invested order flow, sellers, short positions that are quickly going to incur loss when this, when this, uh, when this reverses. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this dynamic um, to set up a structure that we can exploit. So what happens is, here's, here's our level, price have broken down, okay. We're going to use this reversal then to establish a low risk entry. All right. Now, we could do that at the institutional crossover, or we can do that later on when price retests, uh, retests the level, okay, and then moves higher. So this, this, this crossback reversal is a great way to establish a key level that should support price later on, and also, it's also uh, take low risk entries. So what happens in here is once we have that phenomenon and we can set that up, 
Then we have this, this, what we can do is we can put our risk game in there. So again, we're back to one times risk because we can, we can greatly reduce risk by, by using, uh, by employing this level that's already, that's already crossed back. And then we can establish a context where we get three to five times that risk or maybe even five to 10 times that risk, depending on the broader context. Now, the key to doing this is understanding uh, the, the context behind this type of reversal. There's a bunch of different tools in that area. There's divergence, um, there's major uh, support and resistance levels, highs and lows. And, um, there's there's a, a bunch of those. But again, so what we're doing is we're exploring, a, we're exploring a whole bunch of things here. The basic market mechanics of supply and demand. We're letting, we're letting a bunch of sellers get invested in this. And then we're waiting for the reversal and we're establishing a low risk, a low risk entry. So we're going to do the exact same thing when, when it moves, when we're talking about coming, these were longs, where we're talking about shorting. And this is a very effective, uh, this is a very effective method for shorting. So what's going to happen is the same exact thing. We establish a high and then this period of price acceptance, we get a breakout from that. Now, one of the reasons this works so well for shorting is because um, what I try to do in my trading is I'm looking to scalp small institutions and retail order flow, primarily because it's easy to do. Everybody loves a new high in a stock. Everybody loves a breakout. Breakout trading is something you hear about all over the internet. It's very, it's very difficult to manage. Risk is huge. It's difficult to shed and eliminate risk throughout the cycle. So breakout traders are easy to scalp, and this is what happens. So everybody jumps on at this breakout. They're all invested, and then I get my reversal, and then I can, again, I can establish my one times risk, and then my three to five R down, okay, when, when, I, when I get that reversal. The key to this is price action momentum and context, all very important things. So as you watch, uh, as you watch price behavior, start to think about the market mechanics, what that looks like and trapped order flow, because it's a great way to scalp retail and small institutions. That's it for today. Uh, my name is Frank Bunn. Thank you very much.